We did a refab on this project uh, um, in the last couple of months. It involved general uh, um, kitchen, bathroom, upgrading the whole of the property. Halfway through the project, uh, our investor decided to uh, insulate property in internally and externally and doing the floors, mainly because of the uh, changes which are coming in 2025 and maybe 2030. Um, so what we uh, at the same time did, um, we insulated all timber floors uh, on the front wall. We insulated the uh, the front wall. We insulated internally, and the back wall we insulated externally. So from the outside, property looks exactly the same like the other properties. Uh, we just painted the render. Uh, it looks differently at the back, and then uh, by Carefully looking at the uh, details, you can notice you know that it's been in insulated internally on the front wall. So if we start from the floor up, can you explain what you've done with the floor? Yes, it's um, with the floor, uh, with the timber floors, um, um, we used um, a recommended way of insulating the floors for all the properties. For all the properties for period properties, which involves um, lifting the existing floorboards, um, making sure that there is no any uh, there's a in big enough gap or bar under the floor joist, then laying the uh, breathable membrane and creating the pockets between the floor joists, um, laying the uh, insulation like a rock wall type between the floor joists putting another layer of breathable membrane and then covering with floorboards and then underlaying and carpet. It's a quite complex system and it's a very good system from the comfort point, uh, point of sight and it's from, uh, from the field, the floor is quiet, it's warm. Um, when we work with the old floor joists, they uh, they not they can be a different sizes, so it's, it allows us to, to work with the existing uh, structure and at the same time be really um, careful not to leave any gaps around the uh, floor joist or around the uh, uh, external or internal walls. Even right now, this is the cupboard for meters. What's visible here is that it's um, is the breathable membrane, which is directly below the floorboards, and the uh, insulation we use between the floor joists. So uh, this actually, for me, is the sign of a um, proper job, that it's uh, all the gaps all around the perimeter of the room, uh, they've been sealed. What happened in the last few years, um, we use, a, we use a different type of polystyrene. So it's a rigid polystyrene with a normal plasterboard. And then it, that's what is different, you know. So it's, uh, uh, and it's got a better quality, uh, better thermal qualities of that polystyrene. That's a different thing. We use a different polystyrene. It's, we need to fix polystyrene to the wall first, make sure that it's, uh, and then nice and straight surface, and then we um, put some layers of uh, like a base coat and special mesh, and then on top of that, it's a silicone based render. So it is, it is, it is a system which is not disruptive to the house, and at the same time, you need scaffold, uh, you need a good weather. You know, you have to ask yourself a question, can I skin the wall? Can I fit the plasterboards to a, a, a good standard? And do I know really what is the right way of, uh, uh, what is the right sequence and system for insulating floors and walls? 
from my experience, it would be quite difficult to do it on your own. It's not a DIY project.